What I love about my country, Kenya, is number one, weather, the people, the culture, and the food. So we really enjoyed our stay at the tribe. So uh, when we left Nairobi, we headed to Mombasa, actually the, the Kenyan coast. And this is where we brought, uh, we bought some property while still we were in Switzerland, actually we did every transaction uh, online. So this was the first time that we we're going to see our properties over there at the coast. And um, um, once you arrive at the airport at the Mombasa, uh, in Moi International Airport, we were picked by our driver. Uh, very also nice guy and uh, uh, on the way uh, we realized that Mombasa has also changed a lot uh, the scenarios the, the, the traffic is also less and uh, they've built lots of highways from the airport to the major hotels and major uh, uh, places to stay uh, traffic has been uh, or the traffic time has been cut uh, because the infrastructure has been improved uh, a lot uh, so um, we went um, uh, to see uh, our property that uh, we bought uh, while we were still in Switzerland. We had to see it because we have never had uh, we never had seen it uh, physically. Uh, so once we arrived there, uh, the place is uh, located at Kikambala, uh, the Sultan Palace, and uh, uh, we uh, named it. Our, uh, we gave it our own name. It's called the Hayes Residence. Um, so once we reached this place, we were shocked because it was the first time that we were seeing it um, uh, physically. And uh, I, might, I must tell you, uh, we've been in so many places in the world and slept in so many places, uh, but this is the only place that I felt so relieved, so at peace and so at home. We were really shocked because uh, the place is so serene. Um, uh, even if you look at the, at the security area, at the gate, the security is very tight and um, also the, the, the compound around, they, you have a lot of bougainvilleas and the place is very lively. Uh, so you, you feel so alive when you get inside this premises. Uh, so once we reached the house, um, we were shocked because uh, we did everything online and uh, all the renovations also, we did everything remotely. Actually, we were still in Switzerland. So we were experiencing our place uh, in the first time. And uh, uh, the place uh, we realized the way we wanted it to come out at the end is the way it came out. Uh, the furniture, yeah, very well modern furnished. And uh, the, the room, the bedroom is also very cozy. Uh, so if you also want a place to relax and a place to enjoy yourself and a place just to come for a retreat, recommend anybody to come and uh, uh, take some time and relax over here. And uh, the place has uh, three pools, actually three big pools and also baby pools in it. There's a restaurant and also the beach is just a walking distance. Actually, it's a beachfront area. Yeah, so um, we were so um, uh, happy with uh, the investment that we made. Uh, so uh, actually we decided to buy another bigger uh, property over there. So at the moment it's still on renovation, but uh, by the end of uh, September, yeah, it will be up and running. So if you want to book a place and enjoy yourself, this is the place to be. It's uh, the Hayes residence. Uh, actually the one that we're in uh, right now is uh, the, the one that we saw was a Hayes Residence 1, yeah, so Hayes Residence 2 is coming, it's a three-bedroom villa, yeah, much closer to the beach, uh, we have a better view of the ocean over there, and it can accommodate six to eight people, yeah, so due to demand of space, we decided to buy a, 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 this bigger one, yeah, so uh, we, we, we now have a, also a place, a bigger one that we can come and enjoy, and also you, if you want a place to come and enjoy, yeah, this is a place to be.
that note, a big shout out to Eric. Yeah, Eric, you made our stay perfect over there. And Eric will also make your stay perfect over there because he's the one that will make sure that everything is fine once you get over there. And also a big shout out to Talida. Talida, you also made our place, uh, you made our stay very nice and you made our stay very comfortable and it felt very relieved, yeah. These two people, Eric and Talida, once you reach the Hayes residence, these are the people who take care of you and cut up for your needs and actually you end up not doing any chores. These are the ones who will make you relax and make sure that everything is taken care of once you're there. So once again, shout out to Eric and Talida. So funnily enough, uh, during our stay uh, at our apartment at the Hayes residence, we had a booking and uh, the, the, the people who book, the clients who book the book for two nights, so we decided to offer them some space so that they can have the Hayes experience and enjoy the facilities that we offer at the Hayes residence. So we decided to go to one of our favorite hotels in Mombasa. Yeah, so that's uh, the Sarova White Sands Hotel. Uh, this is a place that we had been going all the time before we bought property uh, at the coast. And uh, actually, we uh, really enjoy the place and uh, it's, it has been a part of us uh, since a very long time. Even we ended up uh, in the year 2015, yeah, to uh, plant a, a palm tree. Actually, when we were planting, it was very small. And this time we wanted to go and see it, how it has grown. And uh, it has really, really grown. It's a very full grown tree and it's uh, high up above, more than five meters up even six i don't know even ten yeah can't count but um it has grown and this is one thing that we're very proud of we uh, planted the tree when we were very young and we were uh, fresh married and um yeah now the tree is gone and um, during our stay uh, at the Sarova White Sands, uh, my daughter had also some very nice time over there because they offer the, uh, this service called the Kids Club where they take care of your kid the whole day. And then uh, uh, at the end of the day, you come and take your kid back and then you can enjoy time with the kid afterwards. So during the time uh, when your kid is at the Kids Club, you can, uh, you as adults, you can enjoy your time over there. And also during our stay at the White Sun, so we decided to celebrate my wife's birthday over there because the food also over there is, is very nice. It's, uh, it's one of the best foods uh, that they offer at the Swahili coast. So uh, we decided to celebrate my wife's birthday over there with her friends, all friends and family, and uh, we had a great time over there. So we have just uh, our stay at uh, the Sarova White Sons Hotel in Mombasa. We went back to the Hayes residence and also spent some very quality, nice, peaceful nights over there. And uh, since time was uh, winding up, uh, we had to go back to Nairobi. So we flew back to Nairobi and uh, shout out to Patrick, one of the uh, best uh, accommodating uh, uh, front office managers at the Emara Ole Sereni. So Emara Ole Sereni is also one of the uh, modern uh, hotels uh, in Nairobi, actually near the airport. The proximity to the airport is very near. That's why we decided to go there. And uh, it's very modern furnished and uh, the services are also uh, one of the best. So after the Triumph Hotel, Emara Ole Sereni, these two hotels, these are the two hotels where if I go to Nairobi, these are the places where I stay. So shout out to Patrick. He hooked up with, he hooked us up with one of the best uh, rooms. Uh, actually had a very nice suit over there. And uh, it was uh, up above. And uh, the good thing about the Amara Ole Sereni is that uh, when you're in your room, yeah, you have uh, a very nice view of the Nairobi uh, Safari Park. Yeah, it's, uh, you see Nairobi is the only, uh, it's the only town in the world that has a, uh, a safari park, a huge safari park uh, in the city. Yeah, you will know where you'll see um, in a city a giraffe, a, a lion, a buffalo that is just roaming around in a park in a city. Yeah, so our uh, suit had a, a view of the safari park. Yeah, in uh, in uh, the Nairobi Safari Park and. Uh, one of the best uh, features of this place uh, is also not, not only the room, the room is, uh, is very spacious, but one of the best uh, features is the restaurant. 
yeah so the restaurant there's a restaurant over there yeah that has a very nice uh, view of this Nairobi safari park so while you're eating and enjoying the meals um, you uh, get to also to enjoy uh, the view of the Nairobi safari park so speaking about the restaurant, uh, the, that's where we had some very nice, peaceful, quiet time and quality time uh, as we uh, catch uh, catched up with our family. Uh, so we had a huge table reserved and uh, we enjoyed some nice meals and some great time with the family. So actually the whole family was there as we enjoyed the views of the Nairobi Safari Park and the ugalis and the meats and the nyamas. And uh, this was a very, very nice time. And uh, not to forget, uh, the Amara Olis Rainy uh, has one of the best grand entrances that I've ever seen. The entrance is, is grand. Once you reach there, uh, you feel royalty. Yeah, you feel like a very important person because that entrance is, is very grand. And um, yeah, this is one of the places that I recommend you when you go to Nairobi. Yeah, make sure that you 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 you, you stay at the Amara Olis Rainy. The proximity to the airport now yeah, is very very close. Now yeah? and uh, also another big shout out to Patrick. Yeah, so if you. Uh, get a hold of Patrick, he'll hook you up with uh, one of the best deals at the hotel that the hotel has to offer. Actually, he offered us also some very nice deals and now we have the um, opportunity to enjoy many facilities at the Amara Oli Sereni and discounts and, and all that. So make sure that when you go to the Amara Oli Sereni, search for Patrick. He'll hook you up. Yeah. So unfortunately, yeah, time was up and uh, we had to go back to Switzerland and uh, we had a very nice day, I must say, I must say in Kenya and this is the place that we want to go back eventually and uh, stay forever in Kenya because Kenya has a lot to offer. Kenya has developed, Kenya has become modernized. It's not only the Kenya that we used to see uh, in the media, the huts, the Maasai and all the, the animals and hunger and drought, no, it's the other side of Kenya. Actually, we didn't have time to uh, explore everything. We didn't also have time uh, to, to, to go for the safaris, uh, but the safaris, you've seen enough about the safaris. Uh, the main goal about this vlog was just to show you that there's another side of Kenya and also uh, the, the developing side of Kenya. Yeah, and not only the, the, the negative stuff you hear in the media about uh, our country, our motherland. So Africa is rising and actually the economy uh, in, uh, in the eastern part of Kenya, no, not the eastern part of Kenya, the, the, actually the whole continent itself, uh, the economy yeah, is going that direction. Yeah, so, so many people are rushing over there. Uh, the country now is also very stable and the politi politically now yeah, we are in a very nice place and also economically we are in a very nice place and the rate of returns when you invest in Africa or invest in Kenya, the potential is very big, the ROI is very good. So since we made our investments in Kenya, we cannot regret the ROI has been very good and uh, yeah once you get to kenya yeah when you come back to europe or when you come back uh, from the country that you yeah that you came out from uh you come back with a with a, with a real smile yeah because uh, kenya gives you that real smile now uh the the pace is laid back yeah the pace is a little bit slower yeah you feel like your spirit is more free yeah and uh, this is a place where you come and enjoy and uh, yeah this sun yeah every day the whole year round uh, there's no winter no harsh winters yeah so this is the place that i want to be yeah i've been me and my wife will be staying or me and my family will be staying in europe for a very long time but i think it's about time that we started to invest as diasporans yeah and anybody who wants to invest in kenya yeah because the economy is going that direction yeah and this that, that's the place to be at the end of the day yeah so we really enjoyed our stay We are surely coming back uh, or going back to Kenya and uh, when you go back to Kenya you know it's always uh, time to relax and also time to uh, connect reconnect with ancestors and reconnect with family and um, yeah see you in the next vlog so for the ones who have subscribed to the channel thank you very much and if you have not subscribed yet please consider subscribing and uh, sharing and uh, commenting and hitting the like button and also the notification button so cheers guys and have a lovely day.